they had like eight of them out here, and they were all talking to the girls, talking crap to them, you know, that they were going to beat them up and everything. And I, that's when I come walking down the street, and I, I was doing this, you know, telling them to get. There wasn't going to be no fight on this street today. Brian Simeone watches yeah, out for his block. Kids. He's been here 20 years. He's a neighborhood protector. He loves the kids. I mean, no matter how old they are, he's going to protect them. Simeone says he was trying to step in for a neighborhood teen when Wednesday evening attention turned to him and a silver SUV sped past the confrontational groups right at him. I pushed my hands up off the hood of the car and, talk, and kind of threw myself to the side. Simeone went down, blacked out, and one group moved in to beat him up until others ran in to help and the group took off. When I turned him over, he had, this was less, not quite as swollen, but there was blood coming from both ears. Back home Thursday, the family reflects on more frequent fights in their neighborhood. It's getting worse and worse. What's, what's the next step? As families nearby say thank you. Hello, Brian. For stepping in to protect their children, even at his own risk. I'm happy that he did because it could have been one of them other girls that was, you know, you know our daughter could have been dead. Now we know, according to witnesses, that driver was in a silver SUV around 39th and Vernon about 6 p.m. Wednesday. If you saw it speed off, call police. Brandy, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy.